Hi, I'm Jay Porter from Radial Engineering, and today we're going to demonstrate the space heater on some different instruments. So on uh, drums, bass guitar, keyboards, uh, guitars, and vocals. So if you haven't already done so, check out our introduction to the space heater video that we shot earlier, which goes over the controls and some of the feature set of the space heater so you can better understand what we're doing today. So the first uh, thing we're going to demonstrate it on is the drum kit. So what I've done here in Pro Tools is I've set up the Space Heater as a hardware insert. So whatever digital workstation you're doing, just set it up so you're uh, using the, the Space Heater as a hardware insert, just like you would an EQ or compressor or another piece of outboard gear. So we're going to uh, just hit play here on the drum kit. And we've got things soloed. And right now the Space Heater is bypassed. So that's bypassed completely. Now I've got the level set at about one o'clock on the dial. So I'm going to engage the space heater now. We're not listening to the tube, just the transformer. So here it is turned on. Bypassed. Bit of a level difference there, so. On. And bypassed. So now we're back on here, and now we've got the level set at about 1 o'clock, and I've got the drive set at about 10 o'clock. So now I turn on the tube drive, and here things get a little bit crunchier. So bypassed, tube engaged. Now we're going to bring up the drive to about 12 o'clock position. Here things have definitely start to break up a little bit sooner there. Bypass. Drive at 12 o'clock. Now we'll really start to drive things. Bring the drive up to the 3 o'clock position. And we're going to back off the level to 12 to try to better level match here. So level at 12, drive at 3. Bypass. Engaged. Now we'll bring the drive all the way up to the full setting. We'll back off the level here. So you can hear you can really get that bit crushing, really destroying kind of distortion. So obviously not going to use that in a whole lot of instances. So we're going to back the drive back off to noon on the dial to the 12 o'clock position, straight up and down. And we'll bring the level back up to one. On both spoke channels, just approximate. Now this is all at 140 volt setting. Now we're going to bring it down to the 70 volts. And you can hear the distortion get a little bit uh, more saturated and the level comes down a little bit. So we'll turn up the levels here a little bit. Now we're going to bring it down to 35. And again, the tube really saturates and breaks up quickly and you lose that level, so we're going to bring the level right up. So that's a drive at 12 o'clock and level all the way up to the full position. Now we'll turn that back to 70 volts. Here it slowly ramp back up to full volume. And 140 volts. Back that level off to 1 o'clock. Bypass. and engage. 